Well, hello there, and welcome to another episode of Uncle Ricky's House. Well, it seems like, it appears that, I mean, just due to all the, the, the pomp and circumstance, all the fanfare, all the hustle and bustle, all the shuffle of everybody that matters, maybe. It seems like Donald John Trump is finally, finally going to have to answer to a criminal charge. A criminal charge, not a civil, you know, a criminal court where the consequences could be his mango bark ass will end up spending maybe not the rest of his life, but a good chunk of and like at his age he should seriously consider it might be the rest of his life behind bars for being guilty for breaking laws in the country that he was the former president of, in the country that he desires to be the president of again, so he can finish his personal mission of fucking us up, fucking the United States up beyond total recognition. And it's really crazy because him being criminally charged will not necessarily slow down his efforts or, or, or stall his efforts or become a, a roadblock like it would with a normal person with Trump. It may even give him a boost. It won't put him over the top because the country on a whole, if even they may support and back some of the issues Trump champions, they are sick of Trump. They don't want Trump. They know that Trump is is a loser, irregardless of what comes out of his mouth, they know that Trump is a loser, but he's not the type that will just go away and shut the fuck up. If he can't have the toy, he will break the toy, And but unfortunately in this case, the toy is a country, the United States of America, the one that we call home, you know, the good old US of A. And Donald Trump, Unfortunately, and somewhat, maybe somewhat partially correctly believe that he can shake us, shake this country hard enough to, if not, if he can maybe not get what he wants, but to disrupt what we call life on a regular basis. And how he got to that point, I don't know, but it seems that right now, at this hour, at this minute, it seems that Trump may have to go to jail. And that's a good thing. Even though if in the you know whole scope of all the things that he's charged with, it's kinda like, you know, relative to like maybe jaywalking with Alvin Bragg's concocted. But still, it's a first. It, I mean it, it, it's, it's no doubt it is a first in its own marriage. Nobody has ever successfully indicted a former president of the United States. It could be because, like, criminally, nobody had the gumption, to, you know, because that, that does take balls, and if you look at the whole scope of things, it didn't take a lot of balls to do what Bragg did. And if you remember correctly, he had a whole investigation laid out before him with the outgoing, I mean, with the outgoing district attorney just saying that all he had to do was just sign the document, sign the papers to, 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 you know, take it to the grand jury. But uh, Bragg refused to. And then somewhere along the way, maybe he saw how to make it work out for himself. Because he's one of those high percentage, he's not, if he, th if he thinks he's going to have difficulty or it's not going to turn him favorable for the prosecutor, you know, if it's not, if not, if it's not almost a slam dunk or it's not something that he can steamroll his way through and get headlines and this will definitely get him headlines and I think he's seen that the probability of him losing 
on the way that he's going to present the charge is very low. So he's willing to take that chance, especially because the rewards, I mean, look at how this is going to go down in history, no matter what happens from this point on, no matter who brings in what, no matter who wins at what, Alvin Bragg will be the first prosecutor on any level in the United States to formally indict a former president of the United States. And the fact that it's, you know, Donald Trump, that's just a feather in his cap, but eventually both of them will become footnotes in history, but the important thing will be that the American justice system for once worked to include everyone, even those at the highest level, you know. And how is this going to affect the country? Well, Stock market is already shaking. They, they, they're already upset because the federal government bailed out the deposits, but they bail out the board. Uh, you know, now they got to Now it's like you know their their little puppet palace. You can get to. You can become. You can become. The, you you can become the Pinocchio, the head puppet in the palace, and the people can still pull your strings. So, the, you know, industrial complex, the political industrial complex, they, they, they're not happy, no matter what, what banner they, you know, run under. Because eventually, sooner or later, there's going to be a political president that has power, uh, you know, ideals, and maybe, you know, uh, self-contained uh, hatred that, that, you know, they'll spring on the country and become, uh, you know, Heckle Jekyll, you know, Dr. Heckle, Mr. Hyde, uh, you know, Donald Trump type president, and they'll want a way out. So nobody's really in power, really happy about this. But the people, us, the ones in the middle, we smiling ear to ear because for all of us that said that it was going to happen against all of those who Sometimes we even cared about, respected, and loved. Said that it wasn't going to happen. Now we can just look at you and go, "Ha ha, we fucking told you so, dumbass." <laughs> no, seriously, it, 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 it's a good, it's a good feeling. But to be realistic, where are we? We don't. It's <laughs> uncharted territory. This is. We are. We 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 we're the Lewis and Clark generation. We we blaze in a way. We we like off on the Star Trek thing where no man has gone before, where no Americans have gone before. We have never had to do this on a criminal level. Very. I mean, I can't really think of anything major on a civil level unless it was connected to their actual uh, time in office. That, you know, a, a former president had any serious court thing come come up like this. But Trump, I mean, you got to give it to him. He was, he, even if he's never set foot in the White House again, would just please if there's anything even resembling a God that, you know, he'll grant us just one prayer, this one religion, this one blessing, that that will never happen. But it's amazing with all of this shit it's going in some people's eyes a certain small percentage of the people in this country it's going to solidify their belief in Trump it's going to make them work harder to get Trump back into the White House I mean the people with half a brain the sanity we're not going to say heart because it's, it's kind of becoming obvious who has anything closely resembling a heart and who are the heartless and I think you know the, the, the heartless the, the, the latter you know all of that belongs clearly on the GOP on the GOP side on the Republican side I mean and, and then when you throw in that a large portion of the heartless is brain dead they just spots women to be pointed in any direction and just under any, you know, as long as you label the cause patriotism and 
see is creating freedoms, protecting our, our freedoms. What fucking freedom? This is fucking dead. You're not being denied anything that anybody else is getting. And in the process, you want to deny everybody else anything that, you know, is, they earned or is good for them. And how do you think people are going to take that shit? Why do you think people... People are just actually that freaking stupid or that scared of you or that, you know, people don't have, you know, a good idea of what all the bullshit America says it is, means. And like sometimes, like right about now, we actually want the country that we live in, that we pay taxes in, that we have our children in, that we try to raise our kids in. That you know we we're probably gonna die and we we're born here, we're gonna die here. Don't you think that we would actually write like right about now with everything that's going on, want our country to actually live up to some of the bullshit that it says it's about. You know, actually be what it says it's supposed to be, because that's what we need it to be right now. And the only way we're going to get anywhere close to having this done, this is a step in the right direction because now it proves that something works. But we see we can't, we can't stop here. There's a trial that's got to go. We've got to make sure that the trial happens and the trial goes down. We've got to make sure that, you know, that, 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 that like, no government, not the government, not the government, that the people get a fair, honest, transparent trial. And then we got to make it clear in this election that's coming up to all y'all stupid motherfuckers are still fighting about an election that happened in 2020 and don't have anything positive to say, don't have anything good to say, and don't have a plan one way or another that there can be laid out and that people can be held accountable for. Like, yes, I did this. I am responsible for that. She did that. She's doing this. We all did this. If you don't have that, in 2024, we're not voting for you. No matter what, <clears throat> what, no matter what banner we vote under, if you don't have something laid out that you are fully accountable for, we don't want to deal with you. If you are, haven't moved on beyond 2020 and beyond who stole what that didn't really happen, and like, and if you can't make it through a day without watching Fox News. We don't want to deal with you. That's just where we are as Americans. Now, anybody else that has anybody else that has anything else to say, we're willing to listen. But we're not going to destroy this country over lunacy. Well, that's it. That's me. This is Uncle Ricky. I mean, they talk to y'all once again. Y'all think about some shit. And, you know, if you if you think you know that I'm doing something right. Join me next time on another episode of Uncle Ricky Times. See ya. Peace out and God bless.